for y'all. We got a couple left. I am so proud of you people here. <laughs> because I've read his name about 40,000 times in my head and I can't remember. Mr. Michael Jordan Coswell, everybody. Michael Jordan Coswell. <laughs> my middle name is not Jordan, but thank you very much. So, who here understands the female psyche? Anybody? One person. Okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna tell you a story about how I realized that initially I did not understand the female psyche. So I'm living with this chick, and the basis of our relationship, the whole excitement from the relationship came from arguing. Little less shit, like we go to the grocery store. And I'm like, all right, let's go get some dinner, we go to the grocery store, and I'm like, well, how about some, you know, how about some Velveeta? I'm not really that hungry, we could do some dip. And she's like, mmm, no. I'm like, all right, that's cool, that's cool. Um, how about some hot dogs? And she's like, do you know what the fuck they put in that fucking meat? Okay, <laughs> guess that's not gonna work either. So I'm like, all right, look, well, what do you, you wanna eat tonight? And she's like, well, you know, I really, I really don't care what we eat. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I just gave you two options, and you're like, I don't care. Obviously you care because those first two options did not fuck, you didn't wanna eat that shit at all. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. You have about two minutes to make up your mind, and then I'm gonna get some ramen noodles, I'm gonna go home and cook that shit and eat it. And I swear to God, it was like a bomb went off. She was like, Are you fucking kidding me right now? You're gonna make me some cheap ass shit? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, oh my God. All right, my bad. And she's like, you know my ex-boyfriend used to make fucking fancy ass smells for me all the time. And I'm like, all right, I didn't need to know that shit, but, um, Thanks for that information, Bob. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, Jesus Christ, the whole grocery store, everybody's like, we're in one aisle and everybody's either on this side of the aisle or on this side of the aisle. Like she's having a fucking baby or I'm asking her to marry me. Huge scene, right? So I'm like, Jesus Christ, I gotta get out of here. All right, so I just grab the noodles and I go to the checkout line. And she's sitting there and she's helping and puffing and she's like, this motherfucker gave me cheap shit and everything. The entire time, she's texting on her phone. She's like, I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm on Facebook. So I read it later. And it said, uh, my man can't even make me a decent meal. He's gonna make me motherfucking ramen noodles. SMH, what the fuck am I doing with my life? By the way, SMH is uh shake my motherfucking head. So we get in the car and I'm like, what the fuck is what, what's wrong with you? Acting like a kid in the fucking grocery store and shit. And she didn't, she was so mad at this point, she wasn't saying anything. I'm like, now? Now you don't want to say anything. This whole fucking argument about food, and now you don't want to say anything. That's cool. Whatever. So about 15 minutes later, we get home, and I'm cooking my ramen noodles, and she calls me upstairs to uh, help her out with something. So I go upstairs, and she's sitting there in nothing but underwear. And I'm like, what the fuck is, did I walk into a parallel universe? What the fuck is going on? Did we just argue about 15 minutes ago? What the hell? So I'm like, what, what are you doing? And she's like, um, you know, earlier, how angry you got to turn me on a little bit. I'm like, damn, all right. And she's like, you want to you go ahead and get done with this? And I was like, hell yeah! So I went ahead and did it. Tried it about a week later, she smacked me in my face and left my ass. Thank you guys very much. Have a great night.